Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a comparison of the Physician's Formula Waterproof Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. I don't know why they need to make this have such an impossibly long name, but they need to trim some of those parts out. This is Blackish Black, and this is the waterproof one. And you can see that it just has those droplets on it. I have been a huge fan of their original one that is not waterproof, but it does have the Lash Boosting Serum in it, which I don't know if that really works or not. That's kind of, I don't know. But I do love this one a lot. But I like the waterproof version a lot more just because it is a little bit more opaque. It is a little bit less shiny and it's, it's waterproof. I'm going to be comparing that to the Maybelline Hyper Easy Eyeliner. Here's the packaging. And then here is the actual component. Kind of hard to see on camera. So on here, it claims that it is waterproof. It is a liquid pen with a flex brush tip. Easy line, smooth glide, no skipping. On the back, it says hexagonal grip. So like this is shaped like a hexagon, whereas the physician's formula is just round. Easy glide, up to 24 hour wear, smudge resistant, intense color. So I would pretty much say that all of those claims also go along with the Physician's Formula one. I feel like all of those to be true. So let's move on to the comparison video up close to my eyeballs. So I'm going to do the Physician's Formula on my left eye. And we're just going to do a normal wing. Um, I just have very simple eyeshadow on. This is the Urban Decay original naked palette um just very simple because i wanted you know to have some eyeshadow down because i'm almost always wearing eyeshadow you can just see how smoothly that glided on didn't skip at all. Okay, so there's my wing. I have zero issues with this. This is also the waterproof one. Now we're gonna open this guy up here. Gonna shake it. It seems like it is performing the same. I'm having no issues with it. But there is some differences with the component and the mechanism that I'm definitely noticing. really even <laughs> fix this one so they match physician's formula versus Maybelline they really do look the same I think the physician's formula is drying quicker. I am noticing that this one is still a little bit 
shiny. So I'm going to put on my mascara and then I will be right back. So I did find them to be almost the same. I do notice that the Maybelline one is like 1%, literally like 1% shinier than the Physician's Formula one. It's not really noticeable when it's on my eyes. It's just when I'm like looking up super close, but I wouldn't call this a shiny um, or like a lacquer eyeliner. I wouldn't call it matte either though. I'd say it's more like a satin eyeliner. It's definitely not matte. Also, I noticed that the Physician's Formula, since I'm used to this, this feels so light and like so... I hate to say cheap, but it really does feel like really cheap just because it's so small. And I feel like that hexagonal, you know, shape makes it look cheaper and feel cheaper, honestly. So my only issue with this is the packaging. I'm just so used to this being a little bit heavier, a little bit more weighted and easier to hold on to. Like... It's easier to do a line or like even with brushes, if it's a super tiny brush compared to like a wider handle, it's easier to hold on to something that's a little bit bigger and a little bit weighted just so you have that um, steadiness and that balance. So yeah, that's my only issue with it. As far as the brush, I'll show you a little comparison here you can see that the brushes are like the exact same length and for some reason I felt like the Maybelline one felt like it applied a thinner line but looking at the brushes they look exactly the same like literally like I they're the same but for some reason this one felt like it went on thinner on my eye, which is kind of strange. Here's the Physician's Formula one. See a little thinner line there. And here's the Maybelline one. Like you see it just looks thinner when it's applied because I did it the same way. But it's just... A little bit thinner which isn't a bad thing by any means it's just a difference between the two that I'm noting yeah a big thing that I also wanted to point out on this is that the physician's formula is one milliliter of product and the Maybelline one is 0 0.55 milliliters so this is about has about half of the product in it that this does so is it really you know, this one is cheaper. This one is like literally half the price of this one, but this one has double the amount that this one has in it a product. So you're really not saving money, in my opinion. If I had to choose one, I'd probably still go with the Physician's Formula. I will use this until it's gone. You know, there's there's really nothing wrong with it, but if you're someone that maybe doesn't wear a lot of the liquid eyeliner, um, you just want it, you know, once in a while, this could be a better option being it is less expensive and there is less product in it, so it would dry out, you know, it, it would be worth your money to spend something that's less expensive if it's going to dry out than the more expensive one that has more product in it. So... I mean, it could be good in that sense, but, or say, I know I always have this problem at my Walmart. They're always out of these, so I always have to, you know, order them online or get them somewhere else, so that's a pain in the butt. So, like, this could be a really good option if this isn't in your store and you're, like, you ran out of it and you need it, like, right now. This would, this is pretty much exactly the same, just feels a little bit cheaper and the packaging is cheaper because I don't know if this is metal or plastic but it's really hard and like I can I can make this one bend a little bit this one there's no bending so I think that this I don't know if this is metal but 
It's, if it's not, it's definitely a very hard plastic. I, I recommend this one, but I, this is, this is my baby. Lick my finger, see what that does. Oh, that one smeared when I licked my finger. See the other one. Didn't smear as much, so that is interesting. This was the physician's formula, and this was the Maybelline. So maybe the Maybelline one is actually a little bit more waterproof. Um, I would have to test that out. Uh, maybe I can do that tonight when I wash my makeup off and do a little update on my phone and add it into the video. Uh, so I have to be pretty quiet. This kid is sleeping in the other room. But it is 2.30 in the morning. And my makeup is still looking pretty fresh. Honestly. Like, my eyeliner looks the exact same as when I put it on, on both sides, so. So, I have a wipe with the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water on it, and we're going to see how easily this wipes off. I just used one swipe, it did not wipe it completely off. Once the Maybelline side, we're going to flip it to the plain side and try the Physician's Formula. Yeah, that one came off a lot more clean and quickly. So, Maybelline is a little bit more waterproof and a little bit harder to get off. That's all I have for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, but other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.